Lucia from the Cape Town Science Center. Today I'll be taking you guys through making this jumping frog device. It is very easy to make and loads of fun, but it also helps you understand a little bit about how energy works. So let's get started. As you all know, energy is the ability to do work and it can come in many forms and groups. The two major groups that energy can be divided into is kinetic or movement energy and potential or stored energy. This jumping frog device can be referred to as an elastic system because of the rubber band. When the rubber band is stitched, we say that it has potential energy. When released, that potential energy quickly converts to kinetic energy and the frog jumps off. Keep in mind that the more potential energy there is at the start, the more kinetic energy there will be at the end. But how can you increase the potential energy? If you have any ideas, we would love to hear them in the comment section below. But for now, let's get into making this jumping frog. For this, you will need an empty milk carton box, a stapler, a pair of scissors, a needle and a stick to poke a hole, some press stick, a picture of a frog that I cut out of board paper, and an elastic band. First, cut through the milk carton to get a strip of about 5 centimeters wide. At first you will have a rectangular shape. So cut and mend with a stapler in order to form a square. Using a needle, pierce a hole from one side through to the other. Then using a stick, make the hole larger. Cut the elastic band. Weave the elastic band from one side through to the other. Secure the ends of the elastic band with staples. Finally, stick on the picture of the frog. Make sure to stick it perpendicular to the elastic band. And there you have it guys. These frogs are very easy to make and also helps you learn about potential and kinetic energy. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and please leave a comment down below. Remember, always question, always wonder.